Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about one of the must-have accessories as we are working in the medical field. It doesn't matter that you are a doctor, you are a nurse, you are the physical therapist. This is what you have to use. And this is my choice. Litman Stethoscope Classic 3. The day that I purchased it, it was a year ago, which I actually got as a gift that I passed the NCLEX test. And this is the video about the anatomy of it, how to use it, how to clean it, and how to replace it. As I already lost, this is not the first time, this is the second time because I actually had some sparing part in the box that came with it. I would assume it I already looked in the box, um, I meant in order. And it doesn't say it, but because it's just in the back. So I assume that um, in the box, you would get the diaphragm for this chest piece and also the rim that to make this smaller piece to be the bell. And you will get two ear tips. I call it ear tips. I think I call it right. Okay, now we're going to learn about it. A whole thing, this is the stethoscope. This part is the tubing that right now they are in the better quality that will be good and last longer, not can not be ruined by the oil and the sweat from us. But if it happened, I already looked, this is another part that you can um, buy just to change it okay and if I remember it right right now is um, July 2018 I look on the price it said $25 so it's not too bad then this is the piece the this is a very important piece in there are the diaphragm this part is the bigger one that I use most of the time and this is the smaller part um, Sometimes you can take this off and put the rim as I told you to make it as a bell. I mostly use the bigger part because it's easier to listen and my patient is quite large so this is the main thing that I would use. And this is the, um, the headset. This is the ear tip which you can also take it out and clean it as I take it out and clean it. Ideally, when you switch from one patient to another patient, you must clean or sanitize your stethoscope. And I think that would be a reason why I lost my diaphragm because when I worked, I would use um, the hand sanitizer to clean my hands and also clean a whole stethoscope in the same time. And then I would go to the next patient let's see how i put this back in as i said everything can be taken off right we're gonna talk about it later now we're gonna go to how we're gonna put the stethoscope back in but yeah that makes me feel like i need to put this back in the ear tip is not difficult to put back in you will see the smaller part you will see the I'm sorry, it's difficult to show. Um, the bigger part and the smaller part. The bigger part will be the one that got into the ear. So when you put it back, you just basically put it through this um, head, head piece and ear piece. Get it right through. I mostly clean them with um, the soap and um, just water to get it cleaner than the routine, the daily routine. And now we're gonna show I'm gonna show you how to use this one. When you use it, that you can see it's pointing to one side and that's how you put into your ear. This way these two ear tips will go out from you, away from you. That's how you're gonna put into your ear. This way. And another thing that could help is um, this piece that I use at my um, identification tag. You can use this piece to be your um, landmark 
that tell you this is the part that will go to the front and that will be your name on top of this that also to prevent it from I don't like to use the word stolen as it could be just lost right okay so you use this part and get um, the ear tip point out away from you put into your ear it's gonna be like this and when you use this diaphragm as it's two parts it can be turned when you use you're gonna use only one side of the diaphragm which one that you use you're gonna have to turn the tube to that side otherwise you're not gonna hear it you can see there's a little hole that it would not see it would not be seen when I turn um, when I replace the diaphragm and that's how you're gonna use it when you clean you can clean a whole thing and up to the tube now we're gonna see how can I replace this when when you lost you can I think you can buy separately just a diaphragm or a whole kit like this but what I found I only got a whole kit so I will have some more extra one set will have um, let me get the status let me get my reading glasses this kit will be about 20 something dollars what you will get will be the snap tight soft sealing ear tips small turnable single piece diaphragm adult turnable single piece diaphragm diaphragm pediatric and non chill bell sleeve but what i would need what i what i need today will be only just um the bigger diaphragm which is the turnable single piece diaphragm for adult before before I replace it I already clean it which is just like I, I said before that I use soap and water but when I clean it I don't turn this part up directly to the water I turn it down and clean it it this way so I would not get too much of the water into it and I just pat it dry later I use a little bit of the top powder to reduce the moisturizer that might already have in it since we use the water and now it's so easy you can just replace this because it's already sealed you can just basically put it up put it down and pinch it through but you also have to look if you're gonna put the the, um, the the trademark correctly so we do this way you can compare to um, another side that already attached it's gonna be this way <laughs> let me see I have to look I don't I don't want to look at that screen I'm gonna look at this you can just pinch on it I think you can hear it yes that's it so now your stethoscope back to life good and one more thing that I want to talk about there's all kinds of um, stethoscope that you can you can choose depends on what you really want and the function that you need I remember when I picked to get this stethoscope classic 3 the first thing that I decide because it's not really heavy the other one like cardiology mm, master cardiology those are a lot heavier this one is only 150 grams if I remember the that thing right but I remember that it's 150 and they have two sides of the chest piece that I can use for the bigger part and the smaller part if I have the smaller patient or I can just take this off and put the rim on to make it the bell which make this stethoscope worth more than just what it show right here but as I said they also have the um, the lightweight I think it, it a name is um 
classic three lightweight se or something but that one you will only have one diaphragm this part is not going to be anything that um, you can turn to use with your smaller patient so for me from 150 to maybe 120 a little less than 120 i prefer to take this one and for all this one year yes i love it and i pretty much use this every single day at work i hope this video will be useful for you and maybe next time we talk about what i would use at work again later today thank you so much for watching bye now we're back to talk about the stethoscope in the deeper detail this slideshow that i created will show you the bigger picture of the anatomy of the stethoscope the basic uses and the comparison chart that you can take a serious look and then you can pick the perfect one for yourself this picture shows the anatomy of the stethoscope that you can see that the longest part is the red one is the flexible tubing or rubber tube which you can pick from the brand that they offer for you for this feature i am not sponsored by anybody so this picture show just the basic parts of them and if you go to each brand they might tell you about the differences of the feature that they put into the tube which for me is really important that's another part that really really important because it's going to be with you and you have to use it all day um sometimes the sweat on you the oil from your body would have some effects on the tube as well so that would be another section that i would like you to pay more attention when you buy it the other part that we use it all the time and also the part that we listen to it there's two sides of them that would be either the diaphragm or the bell or sometimes it can be just one side of it which you will see later the ear tubes this part we make with the metal tubes it can be adjustable which will make it um fit your face oh, i don't know if i should call face of a whole scalp because um you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller by squishing it or um you will you will see how it works and then the ear tips or the earplugs this part will be the one that stick in your ears um, they decide to fit perfect to your ear canal so you will see how it goes into your ear this is the type of the diaphragm that you can choose depends on your needs the first picture that you will see they have the different part this one is a lightweight that if you like um, they are not pricey and they really like as the name of it the second picture i think this is the master cardiology and the last one that shows the difference of the diaphragm really significantly because it show one part which is the diaphragm and another part which is the bell so if you learn more about your needs and then you can understand more about the stethoscope which will be the right one for you another thing that i really suggest you to have that also be the name tag the name tag is not only going to identify your personal stethoscope just in case that it might be missing it could be lost the name tag would help you to get it back from anybody and it also be the guide the guideline that you can use it correctly as i told you um the stethoscope will be point out and this name tag would help you to know which direction to go to your ear canal and you will have the options of engrave it or you can use your own marker to get your name on it this picture shows the right way of the ear tips or the earplugs that get into your ear when you listen this way 
the um the stethoscope will point toward to your body and it will, will and it will insert correctly into your ear canal that's gonna be gets into your body that you can see from the picture the name tag helps you to get the correct direction of the ear tip as well because you can see from the video that you look at that you watched before that I show you when you put into your ears the name tag helps a lot now this is the big chart that can help you to identify your needs you don't know which one you like and I really want you to understand sometimes you have to invest in your career you may have to specify what do you need from your stethoscope if you only need just some basic procedures you can only need you can only get so much from from a cheap stethoscope i i don't really like to say this but yeah it's, it's it is what it is so let's see if i explain you briefly about this chart they have four kinds the first one will be the lightweight this one you will see the numbers on the chart they have number six acoustic performance these will be really good for taking blood pressure and making some potent um, some of the assessment but if you go to the classic which is not so much more expensive than the lightweight the the price range would be in about the uh, um the law the law of the hundred dollars you can see which one that you like depends on how do you use it more and also the weight but you can see it could start from 105 grams up to 160 grams when i was a student i used a really heavy one that one oh my goodness i don't even want to talk about it, it was super heavy it was like i carry a textbook and then we go to the cardiology one this one that you can see they got almost a perfect score for the acoustic performance designed to meet the needs of demanding clinic clinic i'm sorry i can't read this <laughs> okay you can laugh me <laughs> i don't know okay whatever your english is better than me you read this yourself okay now as i said before this is just the guideline for the beginner you can find more about the deeper detail at the website that i did some research for you you can go to the Lidman website to find more about the differences of each model you so you can compare and pick the one that perfect for you there are also some training instructions such as using turnable technology, the cleaning and care instruction, and how to optimize your performance by the professional. Here we are today, Stethoscope Guideline for the Beginner with Joanna. Stay tuned, subscribe for more detail. Stay tuned, subscribe for more videos later on. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye.